Supporting a loved one's recovery from addiction isn't only providing encouragement. It's about understanding addiction and considering your words and actions around them. For many families, codependency is one of the underlying factors in addiction. It is a behavioral pattern in which one person enables another's addiction in order to gain approval, love, or power over them. How can you tell the difference between supporting and enabling a loved one? Number 1. Your motives. A codependent relative may unintentionally keep the person addicted so that they rely on them for help. This can mean lying to cover up an addict's drug abuse, giving them money to pay bills, and using drugs with them in order to keep them safe at home. Number 2. You're sacrificing everything. A codependent is willing to give up time, money, and endless emotional energy to help an addicted loved one, even at their own expense. Number 3. You don't have boundaries. A codependent has very weak boundaries or no boundaries at all against inappropriate or threatening behavior. It can be hard and overwhelming to speak to a loved one about their addiction. You can follow these guidelines to start a successful conversation. Be direct in what you see and feel, let them know that you want to support them, and avoid criticism and judgment. A professional interventionist or other addiction professional can help you have a better conversation. If your loved one has decided to enter rehab, here's how you can support them. Educate yourself about addiction. Addiction is a chronic brain disease, and it can be helpful to learn about the disease your loved one is working to overcome. Learn about the physical and mental health risks, the myths about addiction, and the relapse prevention strategies. Understand why contact with you is limited at first. Many facilities minimize contact with the outside world for patients to only focus on their recovery. After getting out of rehab, your loved one will be tempted to relapse. Knowing what to avoid to keep your loved one safe can prepare you if a relapse happens. Here's what not to do. Don't force them to discuss their recent relapse, this will trigger intense feelings. Instead, ask if they would like to talk about it. Don't blame them and show feelings of disappointment. Instead, offer encouraging words to restore their beliefs about their abilities. Feelings of failure may take over after a relapse. Tell them relapse isn't failure, it means they may need more help. Have resources and rehab options ready for them if needed. Supporting yourself emotionally can sometimes be hard, but it's a vital part of supporting your loved one. Resources are available to help you process these emotions and get help for your own unresolved conflict. These resources include, the 12 Step Groups, the National Association for Children of Alcoholics, the National Institute on Drug Abuse, and the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. If your loved one is struggling with addiction and you want to help them recover, the Recovery Village can help. We offer physician-led addiction treatment programs to help your loved one recover from addiction and family therapy to help you cope with these changes. Call our recovery advocates at 855-239-9898 to learn how we can support you.